Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my Studio Calico July Traveler's Notebook insert. I will also be using my Feed Your Craft Soak Up the Fun kit. Love this kit, it released uh, I believe in July or no, yeah. July. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to use the digital version. When you purchase any kit from Feed Your Craft, you get the cards digitally. And I wanted to use the summer, but I wanted it to fit into my traveler's notebook. So I resized it to fit into my traveler's notebook. I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. I love the orange with this beautiful pattern that's on the left side of my spread. I also found this strip of mustardy yellow, beautiful. I found that in my scrap paper, and I thought it would be a good idea to use it to back up this summer piece. And also, it matched perfectly with the pattern on the left side. Once I get that down, I'm going to start going through my scrap paper. I want to start layering my photo. This is just a photo of my brother and I. We were being very silly. Now we have some teenage nieces um, and they always do the duck face when they're taking pictures. So we were doing the duck face. Yeah, it was kind of um, our kind of way of looking at it, I guess. And our nieces did not like us playing around like that. But I, anyways, I wanted to document it. So I'm going to start going through my layers and layer my photo. I'm gonna stick everything down and I'll even staple things down because I like the texture of the staples on my layers. At this point, I think that I'm done with my layers, but I really am not. I decide to add a little doily. I like to use my little doilies on my smaller pictures, but this picture turned out too big with all the layers and everything, so I decided to cut my doily in half. I'll add one half to the bottom and the other half to the top, and then I call my layout or my layers done. Now I want to start stamping. The printables that you get with the kit has labels and circles and tags. So I decided to use one of the labels. I'm going to fussy cut it out and use that to stamp on. I'm going to use my uh, stamp set that came with the kit and I'm going to stamp out a little summer getaway. Now I know I'm not on a getaway. Um, literally, we were at my parents' pool. But to me, my parents' pool is a getaway. I get to relax, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp it out. It actually says a little summer getaway. So I'm going to stamp that on the label, and then I'm going to end up using that right under my picture as another layer for my photo. I'm not done stamping. There's another stamp in this stamp set that says hanging out so you can tick off at the beach, by the pool, under the sun. I'm just gonna tick off uh, by the pool. And I'm using my Kelly Perky inks for this because I really wanted to match that orange. But I will also be stamping this little sunrise at the ocean right above hanging out. Or to me, it's not the ocean, it's the pool. So you can use your themed kits for anything. Don't ever feel like you have to be on vacation and documenting vacation photos to use a kit like this. Use them as you please, make them work for your spreads. And to me, um, getaway can be anything. It really does not have to be traveling and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm using some gray ink for this one. And then I decide I really like this little stamp that has like a cocktail on there. To me, uh, it's lemonade. I always drink lemonade when I'm at the pool. So I'm gonna use it. I'm just looking through my labels. I'm trying to find a label that matches my pattern. Um, so I end up using a circle label and I'm gonna stamp that lemonade right in my circle and then add that to my picture.
You guys know how much I love to stamp on my spreads, so I'm definitely not done stamping. I decided I needed something on the right side of my spread. It just felt really flat to me with that large title and all the stamping. So I'm gonna grab the printable and I'm gonna stamp Soak Up the Sun on one of the tags that matches my spread. I'm gonna fussy cut it out and then I'm gonna tuck it behind my title. I'm really happy I did that because it really gave my title kind of some kind of texture. It just looked too flat for me. I'm going to finish up my spread by going through my embellishments. I ended up using a chipboard and a word sticker that says you're my person. And then I want to stamp out the date in that little box that says documented on. So I'm using my Feed Your Craft Monthly Matters stamp set. I'm gonna stamp out June 2018. And by the way, I'm just using my stamping mat. I will add the link for the stamping mat down below. I've been asked a lot, so you can find it in the description box. And this mat is perfect when you're stamping, especially that I've created some spreads behind this spread and I really wanted to make sure my stamping was perfect. So adding the little stamping mat really helped with that. I'm just gonna finish up my spread by adding some crystal drops. Now at first I thought I was just gonna add a few drops here and there, but I added some to the fruits on the pattern paper and I really liked how it looked, so I went with it. I just started adding these drops all around the fruits and it really gave some texture to my pattern paper. Love it. Anyways, you guys, I am done with my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.